G'day, Ben here from OnThreeLegs.com. Someone asked me the other day if I could show uh, them how to use Lightroom, and I thought, there's, I mean, there's a stack of tutorials out there, um, but a lot of them are very complicated. I'm going to show you how quickly and easily you can use Lightroom to bring an image up. Now, if you took this image, um, I mean, this image here to me is, is not good. Um, composition's good, I'll, you know, all the lights and everything is fantastic, but the actual, it's flat, it's dull, it's, it's lost a lot. Um, and that's just what happens. I took this, by the way, through glass on the ninth floor of the Shangri-La. That wouldn't help either, uh, considering it was uh, a triple pane glass, you know, so to, for noise insulation, whatever they do. So when you get an image like this, you don't need Photoshop. You don't need anything magic. You can just use Lightroom, and I'm going to show you that today. So I always underexpose a little bit, and that's because... An image like this with a lot of lights in it, like the street lamps and things, if I don't underexpose a little bit, it's going to be too difficult for me to, to bring those highlights back. Um, but you can see I can drop the highlights a bit. I'll bring the contrast up a tad. There we go. Just that alone. So I've, I've brought the exposure up by 0.9, the contrast plus 62, and the highlights by minus 100, and the image already looks much better. Um, I tend to like to use the blacks a bit, so you can just dip that blacks a little bit just to really bring that up. Let's get the shadows up a little bit now that I've done that. And that just brings a bit of depth into the image. Clarity is always a good winner with me. If you're using clarity, you can see it just really gives that image a nice look. A bit of vibrance, a little bit of saturation. There we go. I think I'll bring that uh, white balance down to about 4800K. Yep, I like that. That's a bit more natural. A little bit of sharpening, a little bit of noise reduction. Uh, have a little bit of cropping. I'm just showing this real quick because it just shows you how simple it is. Oops, a daisy. Didn't mean to rotate it. I meant to bring that crop angle up. I was going to get rid of that light there. Beautiful thing with the uh, D800 is you can crop it into a panoramic like that and uh, still not lose many pixels. There you go. Let me bring up a before and after. Have I done everything I want to do? Let me just have a quick look. A little bit more contrast, let's really let's be careful with that, there we go. Um, you know what I can do, just show you quickly, I'm going to hit a brush, um, bring the exposure down a bit in the brush, brush size down, and just see these, see these highlights where these lights are really bright? If you want to, you could just grab a brush with a reduced exposure, and anything that's too bright, you just run your brush over it, and it'll just drop it that little bit exposure wise. Yep, I like that. I'm going to do this top corner a little bit. And the reason for that is, so the right hand corner is dark, that's because I had a an ND filter on, and of course the sun was dipping in the left. But that's okay, we'll do that. Um, that sort of gets a bit of a vignette. All right, happy with that. So there's really nothing else to do, that's it. So there you go, let's do the before and after. So the top is the before, the bottom is the after. Um, you be the judge. So that was, I don't even know how long this video was. I wasn't taking any, keeping note of a time, but it was very short. And as you can see, in a very short space of time, I've made that Im image absolutely uh, pop compared to what came out of the camera. So there you go. Hopefully you found that helpful. That's how to use Lightroom to quickly enhance an image. Cheers.